Let me get two people here who want children. I'll also tell you why you didn't get children. Come. Uh, you, you are prayed for. Let's, I want to tell you why you don't have children. Where is your wife? She's in Pumalanga. She's working there. Yeah. You know, the time you went to Prophet T.B. Joshua? Yes. You thought you would get the prophecy of understanding what is happening. Yes. So I want to tell you what happened. You Amen. Understand? You marry a person that they don't want in your yes. family. And they are showing you now. Yeah, even previously, last week, we were talking about that. And she was saying that they don't want her, and uh, she have heard them several times speaking about that. So about you, that you, you, you stand with your wife. Because yes. Without this woman, you won't marry any, anyone. Amen. Without her, you won't marry anyone. A, a, a marriage without a challenge won't be a marriage. Amen. You hear me? Yes. This is a true marriage. The delay, it shows that the son that is coming, there will be a son. Amen. That is coming. Amen. We have to see it with the name of Jesus. Because you were starting to question each other. Who's, who's failing? Who's failing? There's no one who's failing here. It's an attack. Amen. It's an attack. Sometimes they render you very weak. Amen. And take affection away. From Amen. now on, the child will come. Amen. We will see you there. You are blessed. Okay, let me get one person who wants a cow. Let, listen, listen. Because you people don't listen. What is that you want, sir? Eh? Huh? A car. Can you hear that? <laughs> what is it that I said? Go and see that. Huh? I have a contract in Zambia to supply beef there. Beef? Yes. You want a cow? Yes, I want a cattle. Not a car. <laughs> you are changing cattle. now. I want cattle. You are changing, eh? Where's your wife? She's in Botswana. Eh? She's in Botswana. Uh, you must hold your wife. Amen. In your family, there's a spirit Amen. that does not want marriages. You people here, you have a spirit of lust. Amen. In your family, this spirit is following you. Amen. It's a spirit that can really reign your marriage, reign what you are doing. If you are able to overcome this spirit, you'll come here and give us a testimony. Hallelujah. Spirit of lust. Come on, spirit of your family. Jesus, name is free that man. Let me get, brother. If we can listen to me, I don't know you. If we can overcome this spirit, are you hearing me? Yes. Yeah, because you see, Satan is sending. Amen. He's sending ladies around. Here. Yes. Huh? Yes. He's sending. So, in yourself, you are, you are beginning to uh, say, I don't know what is happening, because they think you have money. Amen. Uh, amen. Huh? amen. You say amen. Is it true or false? I'm agreeing with you, Apostle. You agree with me? Yes. I'm telling you now that if you just look aside and see success coming to your, to your life, you, you, you will make it. God bless you. God bless you. Let me get another one here. I'm just praying for people. Let me get a person who wants to marry. Stop there. You can marry. Stop there, you come. Stop, stop here. You go that side. You I want four people. I will tell you why you will not get married before I pray for you. Four people, stand there. Or even my, you, but at least one brother can go there. I want to tell you this. Come. This is a curse from your family. Eh? Huh? No one get, was get married. There was no way while waiting. Nobody married. get married. Get married. Eh? Amen. So you will show people Amen. here that a case can be broken. Amen. Come here, another one. You have a case too. In your family here, someone must have a child from someone outside. It's true. And then 
just like that. So a child from outside, just like that. It's true, man. Uh, so do you have a child now? Yes, I do. From where? From someone. So you are in a, under a curse. Mm. So this curse must be broken now. Amen. You will marry even when you have that child in Jesus' name. Come on, you demon. You're a demon. Come on. Come on, leave my sister, you demon. Come on. There are some demons. You must check in your family. There are some marriages that when you get someone, the person just wants to give you a child and run away. I'm sure you've seen something like that. So you need God only. You run to God. God will do it for you. Let's get another one. Stop there. Someone curse you. You people, you are cursed. So that you must not marry in your family. I know, Daddy. Eh? I heard about it, Daddy. But you heard about it, but this is a person who is very close to you people. This demon must leave you. Come on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Cursed by someone who is very close to this. And say, you people here, these children will never, no one will marry from this. Let's get another one. My sister, in your family, people, I'm sure you heard about witchcraft. Yes. Eh? Yes. Uh, you people here, everybody who's born, they give you some basera. Yeah. So now you are witched. They just witch you. So that you die without men. No men look at you. It's true. Eh? It's true. When men look at you, they see a man. No one, can you see if Speak about a woman. You are trying to do everything. Make up. What, what? You do everything. You put yourself in a pot. You cook yourself. You come out. <laughs> when you reach there, another man say, hater. Hey, no, no one. No one. Oh, my God. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I know. I eh? know. I know. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know. Yeah, these people, they don't know. You, you know. But today, today, we are reversing this case by breaking it. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You leave my sister. You know, when I pray for you, I see my sister on you. I see my brother on you. It makes me, you know, to pray loving you. You know, faith works by love. So when I'm loving you, God works mightily. God is helping you. Come on, my sister. Leave my sister. Come on, you spirit of snake. So think about when you marry that person and when you are in a honeymoon <laughs> and the person start like this hey <laughs> so this must happen before you go to honeymoon I'm sure you understand what I mean this must happen before you do what must be very careful. You want to marry, you must pray first. You need to know these people. They must also know you. They must also know you. You can marry a brother you don't know. Sometimes you go to the sea. You are left with the body. It's like this. Papa, Papa Maria. <laughs> you fly to the sea yourself. You left with, with the body of Papa Maria in the morning. You must be very careful. Let's come another one. Stop there. God loves you, eh? Yes, uh, you, it was a disappointment. Amen. Uh, yes, true. It's a serious disappointment. Yes, true. Uh, God loves you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on! Spirit of disappointment. Come on! I cancel the spirit. Come on! Jesus name you are free come brother you have got confusion you is confusion 
you say confusion. You say you are under attack and you are, you are confused. So the devil will never allow you to have money. Lift up your hands. I set you free from the spirit of confusion in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You are free. You can live. The same thing. Lift up your hands. This one is like many of you here. When someone wants to marry, you look from head to toes. Look from head to toes. You check. You, you have got your own type. The, the person's nose must be straight. The mouth must be small. The eyes must be like this. The, you people here, Time is going. Time is going. You, you made a mistake. Look at these other ones now. You'll be surprised. Someone you never wanted is rich now. The one you were looking at is very poor. Now, you must never judge the book by the cover. I'm sure you understand that. Some of you did that. You had mistakes. Lift up your hands, sister. I set you free. Look up in Jesus' name. Now you need an ugliest man. If, an, if a man, you hear me? Eh? Are you hearing me? Yes, man, of course. When a man comes and says, I want to marry you, don't check his face. Just say, yes. What is your name? Yes. Now, you... You must listen. This is a mistake you, you people are doing. Now you go and pray for this man. Are you hearing me? God will tell you he's the one or he's not the one. Don't deny a person because of what? Of the appearance. I said to you. Are you hearing me? Yes, eh? man of God. Eh? Yes, man of God. You heard what I said? Yes, I heard of it. So be careful. I set you free for marriage today. God bless you. And you are not beautiful. I, I, sometimes I wonder, you people. I, I, you know, I've got many questions. I've got many questions with you. <laughs> I've got many questions. Because me now, listen to this. I'm checking you. I do check you when you are, say you don't want this man. If that man was a woman like you, it would be better than you. And if you, you are a man, you'll be more uglier than him. You must be very careful. I mean, I, I've been checking a lot. When you come here, say, do you want this person? You know, I'm just trying to wake up some people. There are many people here who want to get married. You are looking at this man and say, hey, if you, you were a man. Oh. I'm sure I'm speaking sense to you now. If you, you position yourself as a man before you fight this man, you'll be surprised you are more uglier than him. <laughs> now, that's where you can say, God, I need direction. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes. Don't, don't just look at someone and say, this woman. Position yourself. If you want to know yourself, look at the brothers you are born with. Look at the brothers you are born with. Look at your uncles. They are like you. You, you won't get marriage until you understand yourself. What do you say exactly? I wanted to say high five. <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say? So today you are free. I say today you are free. I say today you are free.